it's important that he keeps him yeah. as as the uh, the captain of the club. What what you don't want is, it, you know, it, I see, it, it depends the formation United are going to play, right? I don't really know if they're if they're going to play for him, like the Christmas tree, right? And you have got three, then maybe I think there'll be a lot less pressure on him. But if he's going to play as the the four and two in the middle, mm-hmm. he's got to up his game, Maguire. There's no doubt about that. We he's know got he's sharp a and sharp enough. He looks a bit. He got caught in caught in possession on too many times in bad areas last last season, yeah. and it happened a lot. Got like. Like get his feet moving a bit quicker. Now that there's sometimes there's a reason why you get caught casually. He looked a bit casual and a bit a bit laboured. I think he's just got to sharpen up all round, a bit of confidence, some good early performances for the team, a few clean sheets, all that sort of stuff. Throw that into the pot. You can sometimes then have a different player on your hands. Has he got it, Maguire? Well, I think there's no question he's 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 a talented lad and a, and a good footballer. Of course he is. Um, I'd like to see a bit more ruthlessness about the way that he defends. Is that a word? Ruthlessness. No, I don't know why I said it. Okay. Uh, but I'd like to see. <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to see something a, like a bit more devil in him with okay. the way that he defends. Okay. Right. The the best defenders we've known, and, and it, the game hasn't changed that much. The the best defenders have still got that 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 ability to hurt someone now and again if they have to to uh, to to. Put the thing in like out the ground if they have to to go to go flying into a challenge and go fly through someone if you've got to they do it and I think I look at Harry sometimes he's become a bit tentative stepping one way and then all of a sudden backpedalling the other you know start having something a little bit more positive in his mind I think from the get go this season and hopefully his confidence will return there's okay. no doubt he's a good footballer uh, let's talk to United fans oh three seven one seven double two double three double four Wayne is first up United fan hello Wayne how are you. Well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm very well, thank you. What are you doing today? It's so hot. What are you doing? What's the weather like where you are? Um, I've been working outside all day here with fireproof boiler suit, fireproof t-shirt, fireproof about five layers on. Are you a fireman? No, I work on planes, just electricity. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it's, at least you're well protected, Wayne. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go on then. You're a United fan. What do you want to say to Andy T? Um, Maguire needs to prove himself as a be good enough to be a Manchester United player before he's captain. I don't understand why it's happening. Oh, uh, why? So we're trying to get him back. I think yeah. all that protective clothing's getting in the way of the signal. Clearly, uh, Wayne Wayne was sort of saying that he didn't think he'd like earned the, the right, right to, to be. become a United captain. That may be a fair point. Once you once you once you commit to someone and give someone the job, I think then you've got to see how they go with it and how they how they cope with it. At Villa and Middlesbrough and Chelsea and Chelsea. Yeah. Right. Did you ever have your captaincy taken off you while you were there? No. How would you have felt? If I your form well, dipped, if your form, dipped. my form. Listen, plenty of times my form dipped and plenty of times. I've I don't mean this show. Well. You're not wrong. <laughs> plenty of times as a player, <laughs> my form dipped, and and actually when you are a skipper and your form dips. It can be awkward. You can feel a little bit awkward because you know the rest of the boys in there are going. Skipper's having a bit of a tough time at the moment, and yet he keeps playing. Or now that's that 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 tends to happen. Okay, let, let me ask that's you. not always right. It's some, not right. But it does happen. Sometimes I've heard people say that maybe we should take the captaincy off him. Yeah. So he's got less pressure on him. If you if you had a dipping form mm. and they said, listen, you've got too much going on. Mm. We're going to take that away. Just mm. let you get on with the game. Would that have helped you or hindered you? <sighs> I think I would have probably been I would have been more offended by that. Okay. I think I probably would have. Um but uh um it's a it's a it's a very you know our last caller made a very good point there about the fact that did he actually ever do enough to earn that? Well, that's 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 another question what we're saying is really is it should he go into this new season as United's skipper. Uh, let's speak to Matt maybe he's got the answer. Hello Matt, good afternoon. Good afternoon, chaps. How are you? Yeah, I'm in not so bad, mate, you? I'm good, thank you. Go on, off you go. Yeah, um, obviously, you know, um, everyone's disappointed because they thought, you know, Ten Hag, strong character, come in, have a fresh start, new captain. But, you know, what other candidates are there in the current squad who would, you know, uh, be, you know, prime candidates? Well, let, let me ask Ronaldo, you, if, Ren- if Ronaldo was staying, guaranteed, he comes out tomorrow and goes, sorry, I did have family problems, but everything's sorted, I'm staying, I love United. Would you rather he be captain? Um, not really, no, because I think he's... Uh, we don't need to go into it, but he's one of the reasons why last season was a bit of a disaster, with, with the, with, even with the goals he scored and 
I know everyone will have an opinion on that, but you know that's in the past. Now he said he wants to go. Whether he does end up going up or not is a different thing. I think the problem with Maguire is he doesn't come across very well in the media. He's not, you know, he's not motivating. He could be completely different on the football pitch. Yeah, you know, we don't know. But it's a fair Thanks, point, mate. mate. I, I would imagine he's a he is. I, I would imagine as Manchester United captain Harry Maguire would absolutely understand that and he's following in the shoes of some of the most demanding skippers in modern day football the Robsons the Keens and people like that so he would yeah I think he would know that what that job entails and that part of that job has to be that you've got to front things up he always tries to do that, Harry, doesn't he? he, he yeah. when, when things See, were going I think he's poorly, good with the media. when things were going poorly, he'd always come out there and say, "Look, ain't good enough, ain't acceptable." And then people would say, "Well, that's all he ever says. Ain't good enough, ain't acceptable." Well, look, you know, look, he's standing out there. He's trying to have his say and give and, and give his two bobs worth. But um, but I I think I don't. I again, I don't like Matt said. I don't believe there's another obvious candidate out there mm. in that in that camp. Okay. Bruno, I would. Get, See, Bruno, for me, is a very good footballer, talented lad, gets you a goal, but but whenever the big games have come along, when the, the difference makers, I've looked at him and always thought, nah, never never okay. quite been there. So we'll have to see. Okay. Uh, I'm happy for, for, um, for Harry Maguire to, yeah, to remain. Yeah, he's the United obvious candidate. Yeah, I'm